Good day and welcome back to another video. Today it is a beautiful day outside, the sun is shining. So today I'm going to be sharing with you the exact, the exact, the, is it the exact, that's ridiculous, Laurie. The exact ab workout routine that I've been doing for the past 365 days. Now, obviously I haven't been doing it every single day, but I do this core workout every single time I go to the gym, which is on average five times a week for the past 52 weeks. So I've literally done hundreds of these core exercises this past year. Now, I just wanna make a quick in Important disclaimer, I'm not saying that if you do this core routine, you're gonna get shredded to find abs. Because from the research I've done, 70% of what our core looks like is completely to do with the food that we're consuming and how much body fat we are wearing. So, you know, if you're consuming like a high fatty food diet, as many times as you work your abs, and as strong as your abs may be, they're just gonna be covered by a layer of fat and you're not gonna see them. So if you really want your abs to pop, I would personally recommend trying to cut down on cholesterol, saturated fat, and processed foods, and trying to eat more plant-based whole foods that are just gonna fuel your body with nutrients, rather than adding a layer of fat over your abs. Of course, you can strengthen your core by doing core exercises, which actually is very important because having a strong core allows you to be stronger across your whole body. Now, I'm also not trying to claim at all that I've got amazing abs. I mean, compared to some people, I don't. I remember this time last year, I was looking down at my belly, and I thought to myself, I'd love to make these a little bit more defined, a little bit more visible. So I remember hopping on the computer and researching what the best core exercises were and I found that these 10 exercises were, for me personally, the most effective in targeting all areas of my core. So I started doing this routine and I'm telling you, this routine is a killer. Like I have not found any other core workout routines that challenge my abs as much as this one does. Which me and my friends now call the Navy SEAL core workout. Workout because it's tough. Just wait and see. If you want to follow this with me or save this video and add it to your next workout, I can almost guarantee you you'll feel a burn. Please remember, what you're consuming, the food you're eating, is the most important thing. But for that extra 30% to get that strength in the core, this is what I do alongside every single workout. And if you're not even doing a workout for the day, you can just lie down on your bedroom floor with a mat. You literally don't need any equipment, but if you have a dumbbell, not a dumbbell, a medicine ball or a dumbbell, then that can aid in two of the exercises. But every other one, all you need is your body and uh, potentially like some sort of yoga mat if you have one. I have not studied sports science, nutrition or any of this stuff. This is literally just me speaking from my experience. So as always, I recommend that you do your own research. I'm just trying to share with you guys what I've been doing and what works for me in the hopes that it could possibly work for some of you as well. So I will show you what my core looks like right Right now, there's definitely people out there with way more shredded abs than I have, but I feel like they're a lot stronger than they were this time last year. Okay, so there's 10 exercises in this whole routine, making up roughly 10 minutes of sweat. Now, every single exercise is supposed to be a superset. So as soon as you finish one, you're supposed to go straight to the next one. Obviously, to the degree that you can. If you need five to 10 seconds rest, that's okay. But ideally, you finish one, pop straight into the next exercise. So here you go. I'm about to show you the secret ingredients to me keeping my core as strong as I possibly can. And if you can't follow along right now, no problem. Skip to 11 minutes and 41 seconds to see a full list of each exercise. Basically, just spread your legs and do a sit-up, holding a medicine ball to your chest. If you don't have a medicine ball, that's fine. You can do the same exercise without it. Exercise two is a sit up and twist. Try and get those elbows on the outside of each knee.
classic Russian twist. Try and keep your feet in the air and tense your core. Exercise four is the good old V-sit. Try and do a bit more slow and controlled than I do it. Exercise five is a V-sit twist. So it's mixing that V-sit with the sit up and twist, elbows on the outside of the knees. Exercise six is 15 classic leg raises. Try and get those hands out from underneath the bum to make it a little bit harder. Exercise eight is one of my favorites. It's a crunch. So get your feet up nice and close to your bum. Get your hands behind your ears. Try and tense your core for a full second before going back down. Try and keep your back straight, don't let your bum fall down too much and keep your core tensed.
All right, the last one. I normally do 10 hanging leg raises, but when I can't hang from anything, I'll do these ones instead, which I'm actually not too sure what they're called. And finally, exercise 10 is supposed to be 15 hanging leg raises, but if you don't have anything to hold on to, no worries, you can do 10 medicine ball toe touches. I definitely think that is, for me, the most effective core routine that I've ever found. And this is what my abs look like now. So I guarantee you, if you do that three to five times a week, your core will definitely get stronger. I hope this was helpful for some of you. And if you liked this routine and you thought it looked like a good burn, definitely add this to your workout and then let me know how it goes for you. I'd love to hear your feedback. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. What that will do is it will tell YouTube that you like these types of videos and it will show you more of these types of videos in your recommended page and allow them to be shared with a wider audience so more people can enjoy the benefits of this video, if there is any. I mean, I'm hoping there is some. Smash that subscribe button for me if you want to see my next weekly video, which is going to be so awesome. I cannot wait to share with you. I've been doing a 30 day challenge and the progress has been unreal. So definitely hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on that video. And as always, don't forget to challenge yourself this week. Enjoy the beautiful life that we live and I will see you next week.